when we rolled out the scenario analysis screen, I'd say it took all of about seven and a half minutes before people started asking us about capturing scenarios for 2026, 2026 being special because it's the year in which the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 is meant to sunset and a lot of provisions in that 2017 law go away. And we finally have done that. So if you log in today, you'll be able to see 2026 in there. It was a fascinating exercise to put together and so much so that we've decided to do an entire webinar, a CFP continuing education eligible webinar about this topic. That'll be May 9th and I'll be there. It's looking like Jeff Levine will be there, but we're just going to go into detail on like all the provisions that are changing as we move from 2025 to 2026. So that'll be fun. I'm just going to do a quick tour. So this will be much shorter, just a tour today of the changes you'll see in the system if you start trying to model 2026. So I'm in scenario analysis here, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that 2022 scenario. And this is my first 2026 scenario. And first thing I had, you'll notice is we now have a couple more years available, uh, 2026 and 2027. It's easy for us to add more, but that's what we're at now. When I select 2026, you're going to see a whole thing that kind of lists out all the changes, kind of a summary of what I'm talking about on this video. Uh, you will have a choice here between current law. So current law is it's phasing out or it's sunsetting. But if you want to run a 2026 scenario, either side by side or for whatever reason you want to say, show me what it would look like if it doesn't sunset, that's an option. That's the no sunset. But current law is it will sunset. So actually the default of current law, that's how it's going to work. Uh, let's see here. So what changes? Of course, uh, brackets changing, um, the standard deduction changing, a lot of things in Schedule A changing. So for example, my um, state and local tax, right? Instead of getting it capped at 10,000, I'll put 20,000 in here. I can deduct now the full 20,000 because that state and local uh, tax deduction cap is gone. Also in Schedule A, in my itemized deductions, remember miscellaneous deductions subject to the 2% floor. So we've got those too. And there I put in $50,000 of unreimbursed employee expenses and that's subject to a floor. And of course, remember, advisor fees were one of those miscellaneous deductions. Uh, also, if you'll recall, there was the P's limitation, which would reduce the amount that you could take in itemized deductions based on income. That's in here now. And let's see what else. I talked about standard deduction. Also, well, QBI is gone. So QBI ends after 2025 if, if, if the sunset happens as planned. Remember personal exemptions. Personal exemption being you get this exemption based on the number of people in your family. That also phases out with income. And so here you'll see I'm not getting the full personal exemption, but those are back in play. Uh, let's see, a couple other things. Oh, back in deductions, the charity AGI limitation, it, it's, it's, it's been 60%. So you can make a cash donation to most charities and get a 60%. Um, it was capped at 60% of AGI, the amount of deduction you could take. That's back to 50%. Not a big change, but that's the thing. The child tax credit, uh, $1,000 instead of $2,000. Big changes to AMT. So let's look at this example here. So I just copied a 2022 scenario to 2026. And look at this big AMT bill I've got here. That's because the exemptions on AMT go way down if we truly go back to 20, 2017 rules. Now, I will say like all these brackets and thresholds, uh, the majority of them, I guess all of them do actually move up with inflation. It's just that they're reset to 2017 levels and then inflated from there. So it's still a big drop in many cases from where we are uh, today. And then of course on the bracket side, the brackets themselves are different. So anyway, we're going to go into all, a bunch of detail on this on that other webinar, but I wanted to show you it's there. You can choose 2026. You can choose if you want to see it with the sunset or not. If you choose to look at it with the sunset, 
There's some new fields to contend with, some new calculations and phase outs to think about. So it's there for you. Have fun with it. People have been asking for it for like literally years. And so I'm really glad to have it there for you.